Are you looking for a nice lightweight pop-up camper that you can tow with almost any vehicle? Well, stick around, folks. We found some awesome pop-up campers in all different types, styles, and sizes. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Vlogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. Today we're going to be taking a look at pop-up campers and we're going to take a look at a few different types, maybe some that you've never even seen before. Hey, if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we hope you'll take a minute and subscribe to the channel. We also have a website called rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of helpful articles where you can learn even more about RVing and if that's not enough we invite you to subscribe to our monthly digital video magazine called RV Camping Magazine. I'll put a link in the notes down below. You can go right on and subscribe for free. But without any further ado, let's get started with our pop-up camper reviews. This pop-up camper is the Forest River Rockwood Limited, model number 1940 LTD. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of just 1,608 pounds, cargo carrying capacity of 683 pounds, and a gross vehicle weight rating of 2,291 pounds. This is a very easy pop-up camper to tow behind many, many cars and SUVs. When it's closed up, it's 14 feet, four inches long. And when it's opened up, it reaches a, a length of 20 feet, two inches long. Now, this pop-up camper has two different size beds on it. The one that I'm sitting on is 48 inches by 78 inches. So you could get two kids on this end of the pop-up camper to spend the night but it's got a nice open feeling in here. You'll notice right next to me here, we have the kitchen area, which has a single bowl sink and lots of countertop space. And then you have some storage below the sink, a little bit of storage below the countertop space. And then you have a little refrigerator down here. Now there's no section for ice trays or anything, so you'll have to pack a cooler full of ice. Opposite me on this side, there's another countertop area just full of all kinds of storage compartments. And then it even has a little drawer for all your utensils and another drawer below that as well. The dinette in here can easily seat four people. And this is a standalone table, which will drop down and convert the dinette into another bed. And then across from that, you have another storage compartment that holds cables, all kinds of things that are stored in here. It's actually part of the wheel well. Now this end of the pop-up camper features uh, a short queen bed. It's 60 inches wide and 78 inches long. So almost a full queen, just a couple inches short. You might have noticed that there's no cooktop inside this pop-up camper, and that's because it comes with a mountable grill, which mounts right into this groove here, and you do all your cooking right outside. This pop-up camper is the Forest River Rockwood Limited model number 2280 LTD. The unloaded vehicle weight on this camper little camper is 2,049 pounds. The cargo carrying capacity is 1,176 pounds and the gross vehicle weight rating is 3,225 pounds. It's 16 feet 5 inches long when it's closed and it's 23 feet 1 inches long when it's open. And as you can see this pop-up camper feels really nice and big in here. It just seems to go on forever. Uh, it's a classic pop-up camper on each end. You have a nice big mattress and let's see how big this mattress actually is. I have my tape measure with me so we can check it out. 60 inches wide and 76 inches long. So you get a short queen size bed on each side of this camper. Now you'll also notice on this side of the camper is kind of the kitchen area. There's all these little drawers for utensils storage area. I think they've tried to use everything they possibly can to store things and take advantage of every bit of space. You've got your little refrigerator under here. There's not a separate place for ice, so you'd have to bring a cooler for that. There's even a little door down here for storage. So there's just stuff everywhere in here where you can store things. Now you'll notice that there's no cooktop in here, but there is some countertop space and then you have your sink. The cooktop for this pop-up camper is actually right here and this mounts on the outside of the camper right right by the front door here so you can easily walk outside cook all your meals 
keep all that extra heat and humidity from building up inside your pop-up camper. And there's even more storage space in this cabinetry as well. On this end of the pop-up camper, same thing. You have a nice short queen size bed here and then you also have your dinette which can easily seat four people and this table also is a standalone table so you can fold up the legs drop it down and one more person can sleep here at the dinette and then you have this nice comfy sofa this is out actually a bit of a gaucho bed so you just pull this out and lay the back cushion down and you have a nice big sleeping area here as well this pop-up camper is the coachman clipper 806 xl S. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 1,750 pounds, cargo carrying capacity of 1,130 pounds for a gross vehicle weight rating of 2,880 pounds. When it's all closed up, it measures 12 feet 11 inches long, and when it's fully open, it measures 17 feet 11 inches long. Now, when you first walk into this pop-up camper, everything's right in front of you, but one thing you'll notice right away is it's got this really nice living area right in the middle. Now to my right hand side and just across from me is the kitchen area. This features a single bowl sink, also has a two burner range. It's got some storage underneath of that. And then down below, we have a little mini fridge. There is no freezer area in there, so you'll have to pack a cooler for your frozen items, but it's convenient to keep things cold in there for sure. And then over here, we have additional storage, both above and down below. Now behind me here, you'll notice that this is a full size bed. So it's 54 inches wide and it is a short size because it's coming in at about 72 inches long. Now this is the living area of the camper that I mentioned earlier and you have two comfy sofas that are here and both of these actually pull out into the center. And so you end up with even more sleeping space here in the middle of this pop-up camper. And then where I'm seated, this sleeping space is 48 inches wide by six feet wide. So it would be for just one person or maybe two kids to sleep here. This pop-up camper is the Forest River Rockwood Extreme Sports model number 1910 ESP. The unloaded vehicle weight on this is 2,180 pounds. Cargo carrying capacity is 724 pounds and the gross vehicle weight rating comes in at 2,904 pounds. When this pop-up is in the closed position, it's 17 feet, six inches long. And when it's in the open position, it's 20 feet, four inches long. Now I'm sitting at the far end of this pop-up camper and behind me here is one of the pop-outs. And this one is 48 inches by 78 inches long. So two kids could sleep back here or one adult very, very comfortably. And inside this camper, these seats are really nice. I mean, all these cushions are super nice and plush very comfortable to sit on and you'll also notice that the dinette table is here and I, and I would say five people could sit at this table maybe even six very very comfortably in addition to that this is a freestanding table so you can use it outside or you can drop it down and this dinette becomes another bed now where I'm sitting right now there's also storage underneath of me if you pull the cushions out whoa it's getting a little windy <laughs> And where I'm sitting here, there's a little portable potty that's underneath of here. You can open up the cabinet and go to the bathroom actually inside your pop-up camper. This curtain folds right around for a little bit of privacy. And there you go. If you can't make it to the bathhouse in the middle of the night, you have another option. So here I am at the other end of this pop-up camper and this bed is 60 inches by 78 inches long so it's a short queen but only by a couple of inches now in this particular kitchen there is a three burner cooktop range in here which is really nice and convenient and then next to that you've got your single bowl sink underneath both these areas a little bit of storage with a drawer that slides out and then you have your refrigerator down below so inside this pop-up camper, there was just a little portable potty in there. But if you wanted to take a shower, they have the outdoor shower hookups all included. One other feature that's really nice about the Extreme Sport Edition is all this storage space. It's accessible through this side door. And when the pop-up's in the closed position, you can also get to it through this top door. This trailer is the Coachman Clipper 12.0 TDXL Express. It's 16 feet, 
eight inches long and the unloaded vehicle weight is just 2188 pounds with a cargo capacity of 1532 pounds so you can get a decent amount of gear and supplies in here your total gross vehicle weight rating on this is 3720 pounds so it's a great lightweight camper that you could tow around behind you very easily behind a lot of different vehicles. When you first walk into this clipper, you'll notice that it's got the back half that pops up to create some headroom in here. I'm five feet 11, and so I can walk around a little bit, but as soon as I get back to about here, I'm hitting my head. So I guess we could say we've got headroom in here that starts at about seven feet. And then when you get back to where your bed is, you know, the headroom back here is only four feet, nine inches, but you're not gonna stand up back here anyway, you're gonna lay down. When you get back into the bed area, you'll notice you've got some storage space over top. You've got a cabinet on each side, and then you have your TV location up there as well. And then towards the head of the bed, there's a nice little uh, shelf area. There's a receptacle on the right hand side and then a charging center on the left hand side of the window so you can plug in your USB cords and all that good stuff. You, have, you also have a light overhead, a couple speakers overhead in here, um, and it's a pretty good setup. This mattress size is 60 inches by 74 inches, so it's a short queen for sure, but you know that's plenty of room back here and it also has a window on each side so you can catch a nice cross breeze also underneath the bed you have this little door for storage or you can pop up the mattress and grab this piece of plywood and you have all this area for storage now you'll notice under here that there's also a porta potty that comes with it so you have a place to go to the bathroom so in the, in the back half of this trailer, you have your kitchen area, and there's a small refrigerator back here. No freezer, but you can store some, you know, cold drinks and what have you in here. Then you have a two burner stove, decent amount of countertop space, and then you have a single bowl sink here. There's also some storage below the cooktop and the sink. So directly across from the kitchen, is a little gaucho bed and if you don't know what a gaucho bed is you can click up here in the right hand corner and read my blog article all about what gaucho beds are and how you make them but anyway this gaucho bed can pull out and then you can lay down this back cushion and that'll give you a bed for a third person in here and there's also some storage underneath of here as well so one really nice feature of this camper is that the roof area in the back half of it pops up. So that's what creates the headroom back here. And it also gives you a lot of airflow and a little bit of a feel like your, your tent camping. You can roll down the sides and enjoy some screen uh, air blowing through here. You have three windows that open. So it, it gives you that nice outdoor camping feeling as well. So we're very lucky to be in a spot where we have two clippers right next to each other so you can see the outside of the one we were just in and what it looks like when it's popped up and right next to it you can see what it looks like with the roof down which is how it would look when you're traveling around also outside on the clipper this is where your tv location is and you'll notice there's a pair of speakers out here on the back as well so you can sit out back watch tv have some good sound quality if we walk around this side this is where the grill mounts on the side of your clipper. There's a quick connect LP or propane connection there. So that attaches to your grill and you can cook away out here. One other thing to note is on the other side of your clipper, which would be this side, you have a shower location here. So although there's not a bathroom inside, it does come with a cassette toilet and an outside shower. So you can make do anywhere you go. This pop-up camper is what's known as a hard-walled pop-up camper. It's the A-Liner Classic with Sofa. It has a dry weight of 1,805 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,195 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,000 pounds. And it measures in at 15 feet, eight inches long. Now, when you first walk in the front door, you'll see me sitting here and I'm sitting on what would be 
a nice big, almost queen size bed. It would be considered really a short queen by just a couple of inches. This also serves as a sofa in here, but right now it's in the bed mode, so we're just gonna leave it that way. But the cushions fold up and it becomes a sofa inside of your pop-up camper, so you can sit back and relax and enjoy your time inside your camper. Now to my left, you'll notice that there is a single bowl sink with a faucet that pops up. There's also some storage underneath. And this does come with a mini fridge. And it's even got a little separate compartment so you can have ice trays and things like that, keep things frozen. And then just to the right of me, Susan's kind of backing out of the camper to catch this, it does come with a microwave oven also. Right across from me here is a dinette. And two to three or four people could sit here pretty comfortably, but the dinette also converts into a bed where one person or maybe two kids would be able to sleep in here pretty comfortably. While there's not a bathroom inside this little camper, it does come with the hookups that you need for an outside shower, and it also comes with a grill that attaches on the other side so you can do all your cooking outside. Let us know which one of these pop-up campers you liked best and why in the comments down below. We hope you've enjoyed checking them all out today. And if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below. And please subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do. And remember to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching. Leave your campsite better than how you found it, and we'll see you next time.